and today I'm going to show you a quick video of a setup using that nature hike tent but with a tarp instead of the rainfly. so you have maximum coverage or protection from the elements but plenty of living space so you don't feel confined by just the rainfly itself let me show you what we have going on all right folks so here we have the tarp we're going to talk about the top first real quick and then we'll show you the tent pretty basic setup for the tent itself but we'll show you how the coverage works the tarp itself is set up in a diamond configuration i'm using a ridge line from one tree to the other and i draped the tarp over the ridge line using prussic knots to give me the tension that i need to pull the tarp on the ridge line to the point where i want it which was perfect because i got this big old tree right here and as you can see using a diamond configuration offers me the maximum coverage i need for protection whether you're using a tent or just some other way of protecting yourself from the elements. What I also did is using one guy line, created a loop and attached it to the trekking pole. And I have it staked down on this corner and to this corner. This allows maximum strength and stability so the pole doesn't go anywhere. If the wind comes, you can see it's coming up, but it's not going to go anywhere really gonna have a lot of gusty wind to really pull this up and if it does you can tighten it back down not a big deal but for the most part that should stay put so on the back corner of the tarp and the tent setup you can see we have this corner here and there's the back corner of the tent so everything fits perfectly underneath the tarp as you can see there is plenty of coverage on both sides and if we go around, you can see where the edge of the tarp is in relation to the tent itself. Again, if you want to maximize protection, but also maintain good airflow, so you don't feel like you're being stuffed inside of this tent, this offers you plenty of space, plenty of room that you can get in under the elements and just enjoy the tent and the top for coverage. Here's the front corner of the tarp and the tent. And as you can see, there is plenty of coverage in the front area, your vestibule, if you will, but also on the side. So if you brought a chair with you and you want to set up a little sitting area, cooking area right next to the tent on this side, you could do so. It offers you maximum flexibility and the space to be comfortable, not only with the tent itself, but a living area so if you go out camping and you want an alternative to just having a rain fly cover in the tent but you still want protection from the elements whether it be the sun or rain or anything like that this is another way of doing things and i love trying different things out and showing it to you guys and also for myself when i do go on the camping trip that i want to go on the overnight adventure i want to have as much flexibility as I possibly can. I want to I want to explore all the ideas before I go somewhere and do an overnight. So the purpose of this video today is just to give you an example of what you could do with a tent like this with a tarp to provide you the coverage for shade and the element from rain, things like that, but still have enough living area on the outside of the tent to sit and relax and cook food and just be surrounded by the woods and enjoy every moment of life. So with that being said, folks, get out there, try different things out, see what works best for you, get dirty with nature, whew, and sometimes sweat it out. I'll catch up with you very soon on the next one.